What the fuck? Hey. <laughs> Hey guys! <laughs> Why is my camera like that? I did not. Anyway. No sound today. Cool. Thank you. Alerts. Anyway, Ivana! Hello! Thank you very much. 16 month resub. Lots of love. Thank you. Still nothing. There we go. There we go. 5-5 five, five looking ass. You're one to talk, 5-2. I'm like, 5-2. I'm 5-3. Anyway. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Good evening. We are playing The Long Awaited My Sims Agents for the Wii. Today is my day. Oh, it is, Marcine. It is. You have been asking for so long, and I kept promising. Little did I know I did bring it in my move. I thought I didn't. So I'm really glad I went looking for Sonic Heroes yesterday, because I found this instead. Um, this is a puzzle adventure game for the Wii, obviously. Uh if you don't know what My Sims is, it's like a different approach to The Sims where it's like specific characters. Um, My Sims was the first game in 2007, I believe, 2006, uh, and it was like a designing game. My Sims Kingdom was the follow up. I did not really, I did not get Kingdom. I have it, I bought it later on in my life, but I grew up with My Sims, the first one. Uh, Kingdom. Yeah, it's fine. I'll tr maybe someday we'll stream that because I would like to play it for the first time. Um, but I loved the original My Sims, and when I found out about this, oh my god, I was so ready, and it did not disappoint. This is such a cool game, so underrated. I've wanted to sing its praises for so long, and I think that this is a great opportunity to do so. So I'm really looking looking forward to playing this for all of you. Um. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna jump right in. Um, I made today a smoothie. It looks like carrots are in this, but no, it's a uh, mango and raspberries. And then I added um, <laughs> a monster energy drink to it. And it is so delish. Um, so I'm sipping on that, sipping on something, um, sipping on a secret. Anyway, uh, set up my Wii U and everything. We're all ready to go, baby. I'm so excited. If you have played this game before, for, heads up. This, this, and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Only games in the history of, like, the hundreds of games I've played. Only games to ever make me cry. Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and this game. Ridiculous, I know. But I genuinely love this story so much i i care so much about this game and i have not seen anything about it um since playing it in like 2009 2010 i think it came out in 2009 um yeah it's been a long time since i played this so um i'm excited to kind of rediscover it for the first time get a huge nostalgia if you've played it before, please no spoilers. Please. Begging ya. Um, this is something that I would like everybody to experience themselves if they are watching for the first time together. Um, I saw My Sims Agents in the title. I had whiplash back to 2009. Hello, Inky Green. Thank you so much for the 69 bits. All right. I'm going to be recording all of my footage today as well, just in case I want to do something for YouTube with it. So... Okay. All right, here we go. I don't need that recording symbol in the corner. What the hell is that? That's so stupid. Hold on. You can't see it, but it's showing up for me, and it's really stupid. Um, Perfect. 
Who's number one now? Who is number one now? Guys, who? Who is number one now? Um, Nerd Strikes Back, thank you so much for the 43 months on tier three. All right. Um, I hope that this goes away. Does anybody else use the Elgato recording? Like the Elgato game capture program? When I'm playing in full screen and recording, it has a freaking recording square in the corner. And I don't, like, that's so annoying. If I can't get rid of it, whatever. But that's so annoying. You guys don't see it, which is nice, but it's bothering me. Whatever. I, honestly, it's probably for the best, so I know I'm recording. Um, all right. I want to hear that again. Ugh. It's so good. It's like a arrangement of the theme for My Sims as well. It's so fucking good. It's such a cool game, especially if you're already a fan of My Sims. Like the f the first game was like, oh, you're rebuilding a town. You it's almost like Happy Home Designer in a way where like you get prompts, you have to use certain essences that certain characters like, like flowers or or spooky stuff. Um, I did not play Kingdom, so I don't know how much of a story that had, but this is like, okay, it's not The Sims, it is going to be something completely on its own, and it's like, there are characters. How's the audio, by the way, compared to me? I can make it a little lower. It's good? Okay. So we're gonna play a new game. It's... Here we go. Oh, hiya, pal. I'm Buddy. You. you might know me as the artist behind the wildly popular Special Agent Comics. What you probably don't know is that all my comics are based on real-life events. The Special Agent from my comics is actually my real-life best friend. Now back before all this Special Agent business started, my friend was just a neighborhood detective. <coughs> <coughs> they all looked a little something like this. Alright, so we get to create our character. I'm not sure if I want to be a boy or like a hot girl. I think I can go back. Um, random. Okay, change hair color. Change skin tone. All right. I hope there's more moles. I'll probably just make myself. I wish I could move that. I guess that's kind of the closest to my actual hair.
I want the fangs. I want the fangs. <laughs> I'm gonna put the little star on my face. Where's the gayest voice? I want the gayest voice. Voice to the max, thank you so much for the 100 bits, by the way. Sorry, I missed that. And Stunning Salamence, thank you so much for the six months. Just got my PC back today. Also, holy fuck, my sims. I love this game. Sorry I'm not reading chat at all. I'm, like, so trying to focus on this. Also, uh, the pointer on the Wii. I will never miss this. Kneeborgle. Runip Seaboard. Oh, quite that. I'm out, out, out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Even nose. Mm-hmm. Weaver jumps. German loop. I like that one. No, be that. Okay. We need cool clothes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, I think you might unlock more clothes as they go along. I'm actually gonna do the buck too. so great all right I think we're set I think we're all set Dorney? Mm -hmm. we the jump. Mm -hmm. there we go Sam no that's Jimby yep there we go okay <laughs> just starting out as an artist, but I would support the Jimby Detective Agency however I could. We didn't even have our own office, but Chef Gino he let us use a table in his restaurant. Well, as long as we ordered something. Those were simple times, but we always believed that our big break was just around the corner. Farba noob. It's gonna happen, buddy. Any day now, we're gonna get that big case. Yeah, but yeah, but what's wrong with the cases we take now? Nothing. I just know we could do more. If I could just prove myself on one really big case, maybe I'd even make a special agent one day. 
That would be so cool. I'm gonna draw you as a special agent. Hey, Gino, I'm looking for a summer job. Do you have any openings in your restaurant? I don't know. Are you a world famous master chef? Um, no. Then I do not have any openings for you. <laughs> Solving mysteries around the neighborhood is great. If I was a special agent, we could go anywhere. Think of it. Yeah, now I'm dreaming, drawing you as a special agent on the moon. Hey guys, what's going on? Not much, Trav. Just waiting for the next big case. I have an idea. Really? What is it? Let's leave. Stegzy, thank you so much for the 36 months. Hot damn, three whole years. What a way to celebrate. Mm-hmm. And Light, thank you so much for the two dollars. Soon, soon. Chewbacca Choo Choo. <laughs> What's up? Hey, that's pretty good, buddy. Someday, my friend. Someday. Jimby. Jimby. Help. What's the matter, Poppy? Uh, me, a mean man took my dog and he won't give him back. Oh my gosh, pal, this is it. Our big case. Well, I'm not sure that it's quite the career maker I was talking about. Don't worry though, Poppy. We'll take the case. Where's your dog now? He's over in the park with that meanie man. Please come as soon as you can. Alright, buddy, I'm heading over to the park. I should talk to everybody there and see what uh, I'm here if you need me, pal. Oh. Let me know if I can help. I'll work for pizza. Mm -hmm. Look at the fucking Sims, Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. Ah, freshly cooked deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Um, nothing in the waste bag. Get just lots of waste. Hello, Gino. What's up, Gino? <laughs> Was that Poppy just in here? She didn't order anything. Lizza. Mm. This must be where Gino stores all his secret recipes. Gino seems to have put an artichoke, an ear of corn, a tomato, and a Bermuda onion in a bowl together. He's a weird man. Oh my god, the scream on the wall too. Lizza, Lizza. This is a tutorial. When learning, when a learning opportunity arises, you'll get an alert at the top of your screen. Point at the alert, press A for full details. Now press A to continue. Okay. I love this little world so much. What's new, Lewis? Oh, Jimby, Poppy was looking for you. I think she said she was going to wait in the park. Lewis, why are you whispering? It sounded like a mystery, and there are ears everywhere. Oh my god. Hey, the machine just ate my quarter. Give it back. Okay. Go away. The little pitter patter of my feet. Headline, Morcu Corp to purchase 12 new properties citywide. Hmm? Mm. This stupid Wiimote is glitching. Mm -hmm. I hate motion control <laughs> so much. <laughs> oh, you know, just take some time to juggle. <laughs> Hi, Shirley. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jimby. The shop's closed right now, but come back later. I'll fix you up with a nice cut and spray. 
Also, I want to say, once again, no spoilers if you have played this game before. And also, no something we call anticipation spoilers. Which is like vaguely hinting something crazy is about to happen. Or like, ooh, that's going to come up later at like a random thing. Please don't say that. It ruins it for everybody else. Hey, Rhonda. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Is it 5? It's 100. It's definitely the number 13. I was going to choose 13, but then I thought, no. Okay, bye, Rhonda. Yeah, you can, however, give me money. More juggling opportunities. Okay. Seems nobody's home at the moment. I love this little world so much. I think that these houses are so cute. Honestly, this looks like, this all looks like Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Doesn't it? Like the, the world, obviously not the Sims, but like, doesn't it have that vibe with like the way the buildings are shaped and like the trees and everything? It looks good for this. I did not like it in Luigi. All right. Look at her little dog. Hey, Poppy. So explain this dog situation to me. Well, I was minding my own business here, pruning flowers. And then when my back was turned, this bad man stole dogwood. Hmm. What nonsense. The name is Morcubus, and this little girl is quite simply a sore loser. Hello. Well, she spins an interesting tale. The dog is mine. And his name isn't Dogwood. It's Killfang, dog disciple of shadow and flame. <laughs> no, that name is sad and bad. He is Dogwood. He'll, he's always with me and he and was with me right until this bad man stole him. Ah, uh, Killfang. See how he flocks to me. Obviously, he is mine. He has been mine since the dawn of time. No, he's not. Well then, prove it, little girl. Um, okay, well, I know Dogwood best. And he loves his pink squishy ball. Can I see this ball you're speaking about? Perhaps I can. I lost it. Okay, you two, let me get to the bottom of this. I'll determine who's telling the truth here. I need to find the ball. I should look around the park. <laughs> depressed, depressed Sims crying sounds. Yeah, spider. Hmm, looks like there's some grubs under here. Hi, grubs. Hmm, just a common shrub. A boxwood, I think. All right, I found the ball. I found the ball, but does the dog really like it? I should bring it to him. Here, boy, do you like the bouncy ball? The dog likes playing with the ball, just as Poppy said. Perhaps this is Poppy's dog after all. I'll have to find more clues. Perhaps Prince would tell the story. The Prince showed the dog walking this way of his own free will. There's no evidence of dog napping. Is Morcubus innocent? Hmm, her footprints are going to the pizzeria. Did Poppy eat lunch during all this?
Let's talk to them. Are you saying Morbius? No, I'm saying Morcubus. That's his name. I'm saying Morcubus. So, Morcubus, what do you know about the dog's habits? First off, the dog is named Killfang. Second, secondly, he loves destroying bones. Is this what you, the owner, normally let him do? Ha <laughs> ha! Why, yes! My work provides me with many leftover bones to give to my stalwart mutt. <laughs> Alright then, we'll see how much he enjoys them. I'll be back! Chewing bones? Interesting, I'll have to test that claim. I gotta find a bone. Dumpster dive. If a dog was to like any bone, it would be this one. I got a bone, but that's only half the test. <laughs> hey boy, I have some questions for you. <laughs> yep. Why are you freaking out over here, boy? Is it because you love Morcubus? Here boy, have a bone. The dog didn't like chewing on the bone, even though Morcubus said he would. A strike against Morcubus. Didn't like the bone. What? Ridiculous. Killfang sinks his teeth into corpses of all kinds. Well, I showed him a bone from Gino's trash and he wasn't a big fan. You shall see. You shall see. <laughs> Poppy, are you sure you were in the park the whole time? Yeah, Jimmy, I wandered a bit, but I've been here the whole time, I promise. Okay, Poppy, I'll keep looking around for answers. I forgot I could jump. This thing's pretty tough. No change is falling out at all. I love that you can just fucking bash shit. <laughs> and it like does not do anything for the story. <laughs> it does, but just like this is funny. This is so stupid. <laughs> I can press A, but looks like the crate is filled with jerky. I'll just take one. Perfect. A quaint little flower cart. How quaint indeed. Yeah, Mel lives in here. Mm, yep, filled with trash. Nothing but twigs and leaves in here. Nothing in this shrub. Why can't more shrubs have things in them? Hey boy, I have some questions for you. Why are you freaking out over here? You like Morcubus? Oh, you don't seem to like him. What is it then? Oh yeah, something over there? Okay, I think. Is the dog after the jerky? I need to find out. Here boy, is this jerky what you were looking for? Om nom 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 nom. The dog was just interested in the smell of jerky, not hanging around Morcubus. I should report back to Poppy with the results of my investigation. Poppy, I've solved the case. That's great. Hmm. 
Dogwood definitely belongs to Poppy. Hooray! Come here, Dogwood. Here, boy. I love him. He's so fucking fat. <laughs> this is an outrage. I demand an explanation. You told me that dog would love chewing bones, but he clearly does not. What? Who doesn't love chewing bones? It was Poppy who identified Dogwood's favorite toy. This pink ball. But that little girl lied about me taking the dog. He just walked up to me. He was just hungry. He only walked her away because he was trying to get over to Gino's jerky. Feel pretty clever, don't you, detective? Well, don't. You've made a very powerful enemy today. It's just a dog. I don't care about the dog. That was just entertainment. But you... You tried to make me look like a fool. I didn't do anything except find the truth. The truth is you'll rue the day you crossed the infernal Morcubus. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. What's the deal with that guy? I better head back to Gino's. Hello, Lauren. Save my game. Minus. Okay. Um, it's a lot of like pointing with the Wemo and stuff. It's fine. I don't love it, but whatever. Uh -huh. Hi, can I help you? Very impressive, Jimby. Most people wouldn't stand up to Morcubus like that. Who's this Morcubus guy anyway? What's the big deal? He's the CEO of Morcucorp, which owns most of the city. He's one of the most powerful men in the world. I was just helping a little girl get her dog back. Right, you're a detective, aren't you? And a pretty good one, according to your application. Wait, who are you? Do you how do you know about my application to the Sim Protection Agency? Sim... <laughs> Sim Protection Agency. That's how we're going to get around saying simp. If, they keep, if they're going to actually ban people for saying it. You're a special agent. You're with the SPA. Special Agent Walker, pleased to meet you, Jimby. I'm here to open a new branch of the spa in this city. Really? Well, I'm happy to help in any way I can. Well, that's good news, since I'm approving your application. You are going to be this city's special agent. What? Really? I got the job? Woo! <laughs> I told you this would be our big case, pal. I'll have to start you off as a junior agent. You'll solve a few cases around the city while I observe. But I want to promote you fully to special agent as soon as you're ready. The agency needs someone who's willing to take a stand against Morcubus. Why? Is he stealing more dogs? To be honest, we're not sure what he's doing. He's far too smart to get his own hands dirty, but he has associates all over the city. They're looking for something. We just don't know what. If Morcubus wants to wants it that badly, though, it can't be good. All right, sign me up. I'll do everything I can. I know you will, Agent Jimby. So what should I do first? For now, go get some rest. Come back here tomorrow and comb the city for new cases to work. And keep your eyes open for anything that might lead back to Morcubus.
Okay, buddy, today's the day. Our destiny lies just down those stairs. Let's get down there and find some fresh cases. I should beat the fuck out of this machine. Oh, damn, I can't. I love this little train station area. Like, this is the cutest shit ever to me. Could you imagine if Animal Crossing had this much furniture, though? I would die. Anything in the news, Lewis? Oh, hey, Jimby. Did you hear? Dogwood was almost dognapped. I sure am glad someone was there to help Poppy out. Yeah, I'm sure glad someone was there. <laughs> Yankee Doodle came to town. Oh no, what's wrong, Gino? Hi, Gino, how are you? Hi, homecoming hero. Hello. Terrible, you have to help me, Jimby. I've lost my maps. Maps? Not tomatoes this time? Okay, I'm in. Don't worry, Gino, I'll find those maps. Oh, Jimby, it's I'm a ruined. There was a fire. In your restaurant? Yes, Derek, Shirley, and Patrick were all having dinner. Suddenly, smoke and flames started pouring out of my stove. You were the first out, out of your restaurant? Yes, but the others soon followed. After the flames died down, I went back in to confirm that I, I was ruined. Not only was my stove destroyed, but my safe was opened. Someone took my maps. You keep you kept maps in a safe? Of course. Those maps showed the secret locations where I find my arcane herbs and forbidden cheeses. How did they get the combination Thank to your you. safe? Would you rather speak Simlish, Animal Crossing speak, or Banjo-Kazooie speak if you lived in a game? <laughs> Animal Crossing. How did they get the combination to your safe? I don't- I don't lock it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so either Derek, Shirley, or Patrick cracked your save during the fire. What evidence could be found at Gino's Pizzeria? The stove is too badly damaged for you to make out what caused the fire. I'll need to repair it before I can learn anything. I should salvage some stove parts from other machines and Genos. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, the humor in this game is so good. I I love it. Yeah, I you the original My Sims is on the EA Origin store, so if you have that, it's pretty okay. All right. There we go. The stove fire was caused by a lack of ventilation. I should tell Gino. Uh-oh, the footprints are becoming more faded. <laughs> and they end here. Oh, no. They're easier to see on the sidewalk. I'll have to remember that space surfaces show prints differently.
Well, let's go back. Let's go back and tell Gino about the ventilation problem first. Gino, your fire was caused by a lack of ventilation. Your chimneys must be blocked. Impossible. I clean the chimneys all the time. Well, there's something fishy going on. How can I access the chimneys to check them out? Climb the ladder behind my building. But hold the ladder tight, Jimby. It's slippery with delicious pizza grease. I need to climb the ladder to Gino's roof and check his chimneys. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong about this chimney. Yeah, I'd love a pizza. We have some frozen pizzas, I think. Mm, actually, no, I think I ate them. There's a baseball in there. Who shoved this baseball into Gino's chimney? They started the fire. This baseball was clogging it. That's crazy. I don't even like baseball. Who would do such a thing to me and my pizza? That's what I need to find out. Gino, does anyone play baseball? <laughs> does anyone play baseball around here? <laughs> no one. Wait. Yes. <laughs> Lots of people. Just last month, that rotten kid Derek put his spelly baseball glove on my nice, clean table. Chased him out with a broom. Derek, let's talk about baseballs. What? What are you talking about? I love baseballs. I bet you do. So is this your baseball? Yeah, my Vintage Pro 2004 baseball. It's the one I stuck in the... Nowhere. <gasps> You're not very good at this whole criminal thing, are you, Derek? Derek used his baseball to start the fire. Was he after the maps? Or is Derek just a jerk? All right, well, let's get back to those footprints. The footprints end here, but... Looks like the thief climbed over that log. This is like an intro area in Wind Waker. Yeah, I am playing the Wii version. I'm using a Wii U, but yeah. To get up to that ledge over there. That was a haunting sound. Sit. There's a piece of paper stuck on top of this monolith. I'll need to dislodge the paper to see what it says. Maybe my crowbar can do it. It's a letter. Dear Derek, thank you for your delivery. Love, Morkycorp. This note proves that Derek made a delivery to Morkycorp. Was it Gino's maps? <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing in here? Hey, buddy, who do you think is behind all this? No idea, but we're agents. We'll smoke them out. <laughs> Get it, pal? Not really. Look at these tires. Ooh. New decorations. This stove could help me start my own restaurant someday. Oh, I think you can, like, make your own rooms. Because My Sims is about decorating, so I think there's like a an office you can decorate, maybe, if I remember correctly. Yeah. One of Gino's <laughs> maps! I wonder if the thief discarded any more of the maps as they fled the scene of the crime. A lot of candy bar wrappers. Seems like somebody's been snacking out here.
filled with trash. Hey Travis, do you know what happened to Gino's maps? Sorry, Jimmy. I don't I don't. I don't use maps myself. I use my cell phone's GPS. Maps are so the 20th century, dude. Hi, Poppy. Have you heard about Gino's maps? Maps? I thought Gino made pizza. You're right. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> There's a map in this trash can. The thief must have passed this way. Yeah, he did. Don't worry, Gino. I'm on the case. Thanks. I feel better already. So what happened in there, Derek? Buzz off, Agent Moron. Derek, you need to answer my questions. I want to learn about cause the fire. Why should I care? Derek, I think this fire might not have been an accident. Your face is an accident. I'm not talking to you, Agent Face Accident. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Leba Leba Kubaya. I think there's one more trash can over here I didn't check actually. Ew. Oh. Oh. Somebody fucking lives up there. Interesting. Interesting. All right, well, I found two. Oh, yeah, they fucking fall all the time in this game. It's very funny. They will just, like, completely eat shit. dive again. Nothing but trash. Okay. You might have known, do you know who might have stolen Gino's maps? Another mystery? First dogs, now maps? I have no, I hope no one steals my college applications. Don't worry, Lewis. I'm on the case. Rhonda, what do you have to say? Hi, Rhonda. Have you heard about the fire in Berkeley or Gino's? I did. Who would set fire to a pizzeria? That's crazy. Don't set fire to pizzerias. That's my motto. Let me know if you hear anything, Rhonda. So what happened in there, Shirley? I was sitting there, eating my salad. <laughs> right in front of my salad when I hear Derek yell out, fire, get out, and you left immediately, dropped my fork and bolted. I've been here ever since. Thanks, Shirley, good to know. So what happened in there, Patrick? I was digging into a slice of Gino's ultimate meatball pizza, then all of a sudden there was smoke everywhere. I see it happened very suddenly. I couldn't breathe, but I managed to finish my slice on the way out. What, you finished your pizza even though there was a fire? Meatballs are too tasty to waste, sport. Who needs to breathe when you can eat? I hear that. Yay, garbage. Yeah. 
nothing in here. Nobody uses him. Thank you. Terrence Duncan, there's one thing you can expect from Jimmy, and that's the unexpected, because he's an intentional international super spy. Super spy. What is that from? That was like a TikTok audio, but like what show? What? That's right, Backyardigans. Ooh, I'm on the roof. Thank you for the bits. A Jack in the Box. No one wants a Charlie in the Box. Oh. Use door. Oh, we're in City Hall. Skip, did you know someone started a fire at Gino's and stole his maps? What? That's outrageous. I was going to have pizza for lunch. I hope he's still open. No one was hurt, by the way. <laughs> Good luck with those plans, though. <laughs> and nice bouquet. Very aromatic. Looks like it's from Poppy's place. Hmm, this hair reminds me of an elderly Morcubus. Perhaps this guy is a relative. <laughs> As Maferos, thank you so much for the two dollars. <laughs> I thought that was in the game. <laughs> My cat died today. Get a new one. Hangs up on them. Okay, so I have two of the maps. I think there's three. Thank you. Yeah, the crime scene. Rising J, I always like eating pizza while doing the first few missions and this as a kid. I should have, I didn't remember that there was a pizza involved in the beginning of this game. I should have remembered. I knew that it took place, the first one was the dog in the park, I remember that. Amazingly, the pizza seems undamaged by the fire. Buy a gumball. <laughs> Funny little oven. It's so tiny. Zitza! Blitza! A plant is completely fake. Huh. Oh, there it is. One of Gino's maps. Well, it looks like I found Gino's maps. I should return them. Wow, you don't normally see such prime parking available at this time of the day. I found your maps. Oh, fantastico. You're a lifesaver, Agent Jimby. Oh, but one is missing. My map of the mountains. Fascinating. They were only interested in one of your maps, Gino. You see, these all had been discarded. I'm ruined. Gino, this is a solid lead. I'll get to the bottom of this. I wonder if Shirley, Patrick, or Derek are particularly interested in mountains. Shirley. Heard any news about the mountains lately, Shirley? Mountains, huh? Hmm. Don't worry, Shirley. If you haven't heard anything, that's fine. Yeah, sorry, hun. Huh? Nothing comes to mind. No problem. Thanks. What mountains? Go away, Agent Loser. Derek, if you'd just help me out here for a minute. What do you want? I hate that if you press B, it closes everything. What do you want from me? I don't know anything about anything. Buzz off. Okay. As a matter of fact, Derek has been going on non-stop about mountains. Is that so? Yeah, kid must have gotten into snowboarding or something. Thanks, Patrick. Very useful to know. The mountain map was the only one missing, and Patrick says that Derek has been interested in the mountains recently. Suspicious. 
And there it is. I should go back to Gino and report the result of my investigation. Gino, I've discovered who stole your maps. So what happened, Jimby? Who stole my maps? All signs point to Derek being the thief, Gino. What? That Derek is the cause of my ruination. Why? How? Well, it seems that Derek was hired by Morcubus to steal your maps. Derek stuffed a baseball in your chimney to cause the fire. When the fire started, he stole the maps and ran off, uh, dumping the maps along the way that Morcubus didn't want. He then left your mountain map on, out on, left your mountain map out in the forest at a pickup site from Morcucorp. Operatives to pick up. I'm sorry, Gino. I'm afraid there's no way to track the map down any further. Gino, I want a slice of sausage and pepperoni. And make it quick, I'm busy. You are banned forever! What? No, I love your pizza, Gino. You can't do that to me. I'm a loyal customer. You will never eat my pizza ever again. Map thief. Aw, oh, man. That was great. I've been wanting a reason to ban him for so long. I know the feeling. <laughs> You're a lifesaver, Jimmy. <laughs> Well, Gino, I guess that's case closed. I'm gonna save the game. Okay. Kirby Cloud, finally making enough money again to resub. It'll be my two years soon. Thank you so much, 23 months, appreciate that. Thank you, Kirby Cloud. Hey pal, Main Street is wide open. Let's hit the pavement and find some cases. What's wrong, Shirley? Somebody left me some mysterious flowers. Will you help me out, hon? I'm on the case. Wonderful, hon. I have something I want to show you. Here's what I wanted to show you. Someone knocked on the door, but when I opened it, I just found these flowers. <laughs> Looks like you have a secret admirer, Shirley. We gotta find out who it is, hon. In in case you ain't noticed, I don't usually I usually don't like to do things subtle. All right, I'll see what I can find out. <sighs> hey, Poppy. Hi, Jimmy. Do you recognize this bouquet? Of course, that's the num that's the number twenty seven, the secret love bouquet. Well, who did you sell it to, hon? Today, um, Gino and Patrick and Mayor Skip. They all bought the secret love bouquet. It's a popular bouquet. All right, looks like I need to investigate Gino, Patrick, and Skip. I'd be fine with any of them. Did the admirer leave any evidence around Shirley's storefront? Should I question the, I should question the suspects. Ooh. Uh oh. They're fading. Patrick's footprints were found outside the salon bushes. 
All right, let's go see if we could talk to Patrick. Is he in here? Yeah, he's in here. Were you hiding in the salon's bushes? I wasn't hiding. I fell off the roof. <laughs> Why were you on the salon's roof? Fixing the air conditioning. My tool chest should still be up there if you need proof. Did you buy flowers? Sure did. I ordered them yesterday. Ordered them for delivery? Yep, but they never came. All I got was a form from the city board of the flower requisition. That was whatever that is. What? A flower requisition form? Can I see it? Sure, if you could find it. I didn't open it. Just tossed it somewhere in my trailer. How many yellow hats does this guy need? All his contracts, or knowing him, he might just keep his pizza coupons in here. Dear Mr. Rhino, we are waiting, writing to inform you that the City Board of Flower Requisitions has confiscated your order of flowers due to hard times. <laughs> Thanks for your understanding. <laughs> he has talked to Mayor Skip about these flower confiscations. Go to the mayor. Huh. Nope, no secret compartments in huh. here. Search for evidence. Hacking right in front of him. Bless. Skip's files are encrypted. Can Skip's computer be hacked? Did you buy any flowers from Poppy, Mr. Mayor? I sure did. They're right over there in that vase. Are the flowers really in Skip's office? Time to get hacking. Select the question mark button. I don't need the lesson. This is hard. Mayor Rogers formed a fake civic bureau to requ requisition Patrick's flowers. What a random and a gratuitous abuse of power. Skip covered his tracks by having a bouquet in his office while also taking Patrick's. He could have left one of them at Shirley's. Hey Skip, what do you think of Shirley? She's, um, yes. Um, she has a really great job with my hair. These are the flowers from Poppy. Skip must have not Skip must not have given them to Shirley. All right, let's investigate Gino. <clears throat> Did you buy any flowers? Yes, I did. Roses. Oh, really? Why did you buy them? Some romantic interest, perhaps? Yes. It was very romantic. I used the rose petals to decorate my newest pizza experiment, the Paris pizza. Oh, okay. Never mind. I should find this Paris pizza of Gino's, just to be sure. There it is, a flower pizza. Okay, it's not Gino. All right, let's climb the roof. Can we climb the roof? Maybe I need to go inside. 
Look at this hair oh. salon. Oh. <laughs> I'll find your admirer. Are you happy to be in Paris? Oui. Okay. Interesting. Poppy, do you remember anything else about the flowers you sold yesterday? Sorry, no, Jimby. Did anyone say anything about Shirley? I think Patrick mentioned he was doing some work for her. That's all I remember, though. We should go tell Patrick about the fake acquisition. Hmm. Blueprints for Patrick's building. Looks like it has some large underground spaces planned. Jeez, this is high up. Huh. Pressing a couple buttons yeah. couldn't hurt, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah Nikki Doll is hosting Drag Race France. That's so crazy. Congrats to her. All right. To get on the roof. To get on the roof. Hmm. How to get on the roof. Ooh. What is this? Found a handwritten love note addressed to Shirley. Must have blown off the doorstep before she noticed. Shirley's love note was handwritten. If only I had handwriting samples from all the men. Well, it's definitely not Gino, so I should go back to the office. Can I get a sample of your handwriting? All right, check the blueprints. Patrick has some of his handwriting on these blueprints. They don't match the love note. Okay. I like how fast the areas load. If they didn't, I would have been upset. If they took longer than they do. Yeah, I really appreciate this game. They put so much care into all the dialogue and stuff. It's like baby's first detective game a little bit, but it's also like fun. It get it, the plot to me gets really exciting after you like get promoted after doing these early missions, which is not a spoiler. Uh -huh. The chief said he will do that. All right, no spoilers though, please. Why well, I keep all of my forms in my safe, but you're not allowed in there. Why in his office does Skip keep his safe? How dare, this thing is expensive, how dare I ask? How dare I ask does the mayor afford such niceties on a public servant's salary? I bet this filing cabinet is filled with all sorts of boring mayor stuff. They've never been taken off the shelf. Wait a second, what do we have here? <gasps> All right. Oh, it's locked. I wonder if Skip will give me the combo. Can I have the combination? Certainly not. That combination is a secret. I only open it in private. Skip won't open the safe while I'm in the office. I should go outside and find a place where I can watch him open it. I wonder if I could catch the combo if I watch through that window.
I love sound flowers. They're so sunny. I, can I see anything from this window? <laughs> the combination is 12, 34, 22. I can open the safe. Did they really need the Sims branding for this game? Yes, because it's my Sims. This is the third game. The first game is like a decorating game. And the characters that they created are so, like, they have so much personality that they decided to use the My Sims brand, it's, its own brand, for an adventure game. Okay, let's open the safe. Mm -hmm. mm. Cracked it. Handwritten note. Dear Morcubus, thank you for the donation. I will, of course, not close down your evil factory. <laughs> Love, Skip. Love, Skip. <laughs> Seems like Skip is in Morcubus's pocket. Not a good place for a mayor to be. But back to the case at hand. Skip's handwriting matches the handwriting from the love note. I should go inform Shirley that Skip left the flowers. So not only did we find out that he's in love with Shirley. See, they will just like fall over. Um, we also found out that he's being paid off by Morcubus. Interesting. Hi, Shirley. I know who your admirer is. So what's the deal, hun? Who's my lover boy? Looks like Mayor Skip is the one who left the flowers. Really? Ooh, a man with money and looks. I like it. How did you find it was him? Well, he made it tough. Matching his handwriting to a love note was the key. A love note came too. Can I see it? Sure, it had blown into the bushes. He says my eyes are deeper than the moon. I like this guy's style. Well, his style was tough to track down. He certainly didn't want anybody to know it was him. He's shy. Oh, how cute. Well, cute's a relative term. I mean, he formed a puppet department of our government to cover up his flower purchases. And he... Thanks, Jimmy. I'm gonna go invite that hunk out on a hot day. <laughs> she don't care. But he's also corrupt, working with Morcub. Oh wow, good luck, Shirley. I got more hairstyles. Trashy gossip mags, a headline, DJ Candy's fashion disaster. Hey, Jimby, buddy, over here. Agent Walker. Very impressive work. Who knew that Mayor Rogers was so closely associated with Morcubus? The agency will be keeping an eye on him from now on. We should also figure out why the mountains are so important to Morcup Corp. And we will, but first. Jimby, you're ready now. I'm promoting you to the rank of special agent. I'm assigning you to your own headquarters right here in the city. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Our own headquarters? Now Gino can actually use both of his tables, pal. 
You'll have to take the train to get there. I'll meet you at your headquarters later. I have some agency business to take care of first. Donga do Chambilar. Alright, I want to see the new hairstyle I got. What is this? Oh, I just changed my outfit. That's it. Okay. That's new. Jeez, wow, there's a lot. Oh my god. That's cute. Oh my god. I'll just stick with the regular. We'll come back to the mirror. I think there's a mirror in um, my headquarters that I'm gonna get. I freaking love this game. I remember playing this after getting it for Christmas in seventh grade, eating chocolate chip cookies on the couch, dipping them in milk, and just like becoming a fucking potato, playing this for like an entire week. I will not reveal the part of the game that made me cry <laughs> until it happens, obviously. I love this train. There's just so much of like, I love the art. I love everything. Assuming the building passes my 24 point inspection. Point 17. Fridge must be big enough to fit 32 pounds of bacon. Okay. Like, the look at this little world. It's so cute. Um, may I help you? Not spying, that's for sure. Oh, wait. I mean, stay back or I'll bite your face. Can you move? <laughs> wow, this is amazing. I'm going to draw you as a special agent in a cool headquarters like this one. I think I think I am a special agent in a cool headquarters like this one. That's right. This is all yours. Roxy here will show you around. Hi, Kimmy. Welcome to your new home. It's the standard setup. Five floors, basic equipment package, built and finish events. It even has vaulted ceilings and a jet plane up on the roof. Whoa, seriously? Seriously? Vaulted ceilings? They really make the place feel roomy. No, I mean, do I really get my own jet? Oh, sure. Just take the elevator to the top floor and move down to the plane landing pad. You also get your vehicle agency issued secretary, Jenny. I'm not doing that voice anymore. It's so annoying. <laughs> it reminds me of someone I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> temp secretary temp being the operative word there as soon as my fan fiction takes off <laughs> I'll get a sweet publishing deal and then I'm out of here yeah I really can't figure out who in my life I'm reminded of <laughs> by this person. Haha, <laughs> -ha, good one. She's kidding, of course. No, I'm not. 
Do not abandon your post. You'll, if you'll follow me, please. Yikes. Don't take this job too seriously or anything. This is the client center of operations for your HQ. You could do a variety of things here, such as changing your outfit and this derubinator now does here. Sweet, can I try it? That's for agents only. But he's not an agent? Not unless he can provide a crime-fighting tool. Hmm, he's my sketch artist. Yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> yes. So what do you think, Jimby? Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Lilligan's Labia. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I really love it. Okay. Looking good, buddy. Hex, yeah. Did you see these glasses? Now people will take me more seriously. This is my station. While you're out on a case, I can give you real-time updates from here. I can help you chemically analyze any number of things you might encounter on your missions. Neat science stuff. Don't touch anything. You're covered in germs and it takes me 16 hours to sanitize this station. So if I need to analyze something, I should just call you on the phone? Yep, the analyzer fits right in your phone. It will allow me to scan any suspicious material and send the results directly to me. Now there's something else we should discuss. Well, buddy, check you out. Did those come from the Derobinator? Uh-huh. So it just gives out free clothes? I'm going on break so I can go browse. Agents only. Besides, you have more important things to do. Jenny is going to help you recruit more agents. When I'm on the clock right now, when I'm when I'm on the clock, right now I'm taking my break. Mm. Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for gifting three subs. Thank you so much. Wait, I can hire my own agents? Of course. Preserving liberty is everyone's duty. Just talk to Jenny and she'll explain how to get some new recruits. Thank you, Roxy. Well done. Looks like you're all set, Jimby. Ruby! <laughs> secret Agent Ruby. Secret Agent Ruby. You are a secret agent, Ruby. Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know that? Thanks. That's my kid. Thank you, Ruby. I love you. I love you, little Ruby girl. She is a secret agent, Ruby. Well, that's it, Jimby. It's all up to you now. Where are you going to be? I need to return to my own city. But don't worry, I'm confident that you're the right one for the job. You smell that? That's justice. No smell is sweeter. I guess. I'll be sure to drop in if there's any new up upgrades for your special agent tools. For now, explore the headquarters. Get to know the place. Ruby hair all over my face. When you're ready, talk to Jenny and try to recruit a new agent. Wow, take a look at us, Jimby. Congratulations, you should give me the rest of the day off to celebrate. <laughs> One more thing. If you have someone in mind you want to recruit as an agent, just give them a call on the office phone. Now, I don't remember if it's like specific characters will always be your agents or like you can pick sp your like random ones and you can pick whoever you want. I'm not sure. Um, okay. Let's try on some new clothes. Yeah. 
Eerie Cactus, thank you for the 30 month resub. Recruit Shirley. I would love to recruit her. Ooh. <gasps> okay. This is so sick. What should I do now? Well, according to Walker, you should recruit an agent using that phone, then talk to Jenny to dispatch the agent on a mission. Okay. Okay. Recruit squad members, Travis. All right. Interests, magnets, and light bulbs. <laughs> no way. You can make me an official agent? That's so cool. I'm in. Hey, does this mean you're getting me that pizza? All right, welcome to the team. What's up, guys? Let's do this. Great, Travis is now in your headquarters. You can see him hanging out on whichever floor you assigned him. There he is. Yeah, and then you can like decorate, I think. After a while. The different rooms. Okay. Any clients with dispatch missions? You want a dispatch mission? Just choose one and let's get this over with. Deploy. All right, Jimmy, it's time to delegate. You won't have time to do everything. That's what your loyal recruits are for. We've got a cat stuck in a tree. Travis can do it. <laughs> That's it. You just sent Travis off on his first mission. Hope he'll be okay. Dispatching agents will always check in with a quick text message to let you know how the mission is going. Make sure you keep an eye out for any updates on your cell phone. Right, that's a good way for us to keep in touch. Yeah, it means you don't have to hang around HQ to get dispatch updates. You're free to search the city for new cases. Seriously, you can go now. <laughs> I'll work real hard while you're gone. <gasps> Who'd a baddie be? Jimmy Wetzel has gifted a sub to post a whole pic. No, I didn't. Who made that fake ass account? Mm -mm. No, no, no. Well, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Um, don't accept any DMs from anyone that isn't. My name will have a, a check mark. So, that's really great. Anyway, thank you for gifting that sub, though. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Hey, you can't just barge in here without an appointment. Jimby, do something. Jimby, is it? My name is Evelyn Gray. I understand you help people with mysteries. I try to. Well, I have a mystery. I think someone was in my apartment while I wasn't there. And why do you think that? because they completely wrecked the place before they left. Whoa, I'd say that's pretty compelling evidence. Yes, the door was open when I got home, and when I went inside, it was awful. Did they take anything? What did they want?
Chivalorm's Mooney. Um, well, I don't know what they wanted. That's why I'm hiring you. I don't like her. Her shoes are way too casual for that outfit. <laughs> I think we should help. <laughs> Do you think Derek has moved up to burglary now? No, this sounds way too big for the neighborhood bully. I wonder. Evelyn, did you see anybody strange around your apartment? Well, there was a girl. I didn't get a good look. She was wearing red and gray Morky Corp jumpsuit. Morky Corp? Evelyn, I'll take the case. Thank you, Jimby. When you are ready, I'll meet you outside of my apartment. I'm still a little scared to go inside. Don't worry, whoever did this, I'm sure they're long gone. We'll be there soon. Okay. She seems nice. Yeah, I wonder who would, who would want to scare her like that. I don't know, a mummy? Jimby, be careful. If this was one of my stories, I'd make this the part where you take a seemingly simple case from a mysterious stranger, but get drawn into something far more dangerous. You might be right, Jenny. I get the feeling we're about to step into something big. Let me just wipe my shoe real quick. Are you looking for someone? Yuki is not. Uh, Yuki likes the view from up here. Many faces driving down, driving by down there. Evelyn Gray is a mysterious woman. She seemed genuinely frightened, but... Was Jenny right about her? I can't shake the feeling that Evelyn knows more than she's letting on. I wonder what Buddy thought about our enigmatic guest. It's a lot of reading <laughs> for one day, but I'm enjoying myself. I'm liking playing something so different from what I've been playing lately. It's very refreshing after three months of Pokemon every day. Evelyn should be outside her apartment. I should go talk to her. Hello, Evelyn. I have a couple of questions. Okay, Agent Jimby. Hmm. Do you have any idea if they took anything? Yes, I took quick inventory. Looks like they took some jewelry and some other random stuff. What random stuff did they take? Oh, they also took some of my dad's old stuff, a letter, and one of his research journals. Aha, this was a simple burglary. Dust guy, thanks for gifting that sub to Rich. If this was a simple burglary, they wouldn't have had use for those. I'm on it, Evelyn. That's a solid lead. Evelyn's apartment is sure to be full of evidence. Okay. Whoa, ink. The criminal broke in and left through the window. Are more prints out there. Alright. The nightstand has been totally ransacked. Thoroughly ransacked. What was the intruder looking for? Hmm. This dresser seems to have been disturbed by the intruder. Even the pictures on the wall have been rummaged through. This was no simple burglary. Hmm. Anything under the bed? A coupon for Gino's Pizzeria. A pizza coupon. Is this Evelyn's? Why did the intruder have to treat all the books so poorly? There was no reason to throw them around. Hmm, a recipe. A receipt from Shirley's place for a haircut. A haircut recipe. Is this Evelyn's? 
Hmm, it looks like someone might have spilled some ink here. Looks like the intruder even smashed the clock. It stopped working. All right, anything? Okay. Is this your salon receipt? Yeah, that's mine. I went to Shirley's yesterday to get my hair done. Looks nice. Thanks for the info. Criminals didn't have anything to do with the salon receipt. Is this your pizza coupon? Nope, I'm allergic to tomatoes, so I never go to Gino's place. Ah, must have come from one of the culprits then. I love it when criminals drop things. All right. The trail fades away here. Did the criminal do anything in the town square? Oop, I got a text. Travis has arrived, is looking up at the cat, trying to decide what to do. I mentioned that gaining a cat's trust is harder than it looks. Okay. serve anyone new recently yes actually a young woman in a red and gray uniform she had some kind of she had some of my filet mignon pizza and i gave her a coupon oh really where did she sit at the table against the wall near the door I wonder if the customer left anything behind A napkin with a note written on the back. Meet in the forest. Did did anyone see the perps meeting in the forest? Anything weird going on recently? I don't think I've seen anything weird. Thanks, Poppy. I need to speak with you. No way. I want to talk to you. Look, kid, this is serious. Start talking or things are going to get unpleasant. What? What are you threatening me? You think Aunt Shirley will be happy about the damage you caused at Geno's? Whoa, whoa, let's not do that, okay? Tell me about the meeting. Okay, okay. It was the Morkicorp goons. They robbed the apartment, and they gave some guy a book at the meeting. That's all. A book exchange. Who's the guy who took it? I don't know him. I promise. Fine. We're done here. Derek confessed he saw the Morkicorp operatives give some man the journal. Was that all they wanted? <laughs> Damn, open your eyes, Poppy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oop. I fell. I want you to come back home, Poppy. <laughs> Her dog to her. All right, let's talk to Evelyn. Mm, I've been having such chest tightness today. It's really annoying. Hi, Rumi. Hello. It's that long COVID. It's your big titties and that little bra. <laughs> Hi, Ruby. You're so freaking cute. I love you, baby. Hey.
And that's what I'm talking about. Um, this awkward person. Thank you so much for the 51 month resub. Just lurking. Hope you're having fun. I am. All right. Hey, Rhonda. Do you have any idea who might have ransacked Evelyn's apartment? No, and I don't want to know. Stay away from creepy apartment ransacking criminals. That's my motto. Okay, thanks, Rhonda. That's a great motto. She's always got a motto for us. All right. I'm going to try to communicate with the cat. Gain its trust. I know. I'll use my phone to play some bird or squirrel noises. Um, bird. Okay. Have you heard about the break-in? I did. I think it's going to be in tomorrow's paper. Speaking of papers, would you like to buy one? Maybe later. Oh. I'm still on the job. If I had a quarter for everyone who said that to me, I'd have enough for college already. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, let's check my notebook. Apollo, honey, what is this? Thank you so much for the 12 months. This is My Sims, a mystery game on the Wii. Talk to Poppy. Other evidence. I gotta go back and talk to her. Why is that not working? Again? What is this? Anyway, Austin, thank you so much for gifting five subs and the 59. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Cousin Austin. Thank you so much, the one and only. Peanut Butter Gamer, how are you doing, my friend? Thank you so much for the 59 months and the five gift subs. It's been so long since I've seen this game. I love it. I love it so much. It is my childhood. I appreciate it so much for you doing that. Thank you so much. Ruby, can you stop biting my fucking water bottle? Yeah. Um, hold on one second. Let me pause this. I'm going to use a bathroom real quick. Um, and I'll be back. I'm going to run a minute of ads because I'm doing this like ad incentive thing where I have to run like a minute of ads every hour or something like that. Um, so I'm going to do that. So that way I'm not trying to cram them in by the end of the month. So if you're subbed, you're not going to see ads. But anyway, can you stop chewing everything? I know you're a puppy. I know everything tastes so good, but you gotta just stop doing that. Ra 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 ra. Ra 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 ra. Ah. Okay.
Okay. I am back. <sighs> Thank you for your patience. I have a snack. Okay. Your cat didn't like that at all. Oh no. The bird noise. I always enjoyed those little side mission things. Okay. Anything weird going on in the forest? I don't think I've seen anything weird. Thanks, Poppy. Wait a second. What is it? Derek did give me a bunch of shiny rocks to hold on to. But I just gave them to Dogwood because he likes shiny things. Fantastic. Thank you, Poppy. Buried the evidence. Oh my god, all these little holes. Ruby. Do not buy the we do not bite the Wemo over about me. You aren't even alive when the Wii came out. You are not even a year old. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny, Ruby? You didn't grow up with the Wii. Unlike the rest of us. You didn't grow up with the Wii. Fucking stupid. Bingo, it's Evelyn's jewelry. Evelyn's jewels were stolen, but ended up being buried by Dogwood. Doesn't seem like they needed those. All right. Yeah, Ruby, you can't be here. You have 18 plus streams. Cause I say fuck and pussy. You cannot be here. Okay. Let's ask Evelyn some more questions maybe. Nope. Okay. Other evidence. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> A letter addressed to Dr. Gray. Stole the letter to Evelyn's dad, but didn't keep it. It must have been after something else. There we go. They wanted that journal. Really, what was it? What was he after? I've got good news and bad news. I'll take the good news first. The good news is that I found the letter and the jewelry. Here you are. And the bad news? They took your journal. Apparently there was an exchange between the Morticore goons and an unknown male recipient in the forest. My father's journal? Did you guys ever read the book My Father's Dragon as a kid? There's a couple of, like books in that series. We read it in third grade. I liked it. I thought it was cute. Hmm. I did choose the teeth. And what about it, bitch? Hi, Alex. Mm -hmm. huh. I'm in my tooth era. It is part of the brand. All right, all of his research notes in it. Who would want to steal that? My guess, the mayor, Skip Rogers. I've already connected him to dealings with Morcubus. Well, let's go arrest him. Throw him in prison, let him sit in a cell. Not so fast, Evelyn. I need, Ruby, get out from under the deck. Get out, you can't be under there. Thank you. 
Not so fast, Evelyn. I need cron concrete proof, and I intend to find it. I'll be waiting outside City Hall. I want to be there when this goes down. Ruby! You can't be under there. You're gonna yeah. unplug my computer. Yeah. Under the couch. <laughs> Immediately dive bombs under the couch. Oh, okay. To the mayor. To the mayor. To the mayor. Where are we going? To the mayor. Ah, uh, nerb. Ah, uh, nerb. Nerb. Hello, Mayor Rogers. A moment of your time. Certainly. What can I do for you, citizen? I assume you're aware of the fact that Evelyn Gray's apartment was ransacked? Yes. Sorry, business to think that could have happened in my precious city. Okay, Ruby. Let's go in the first place. With a little show time because you want to go behind my computer and you may not do that. Three sworn. Three sworn. Sworn. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Three sworn. Oh. Oh. All right. I think you know more than you're letting on. Stop acting sorry, you lying lowly, low life. I know you were behind it. Fess up. What? How dare you? You have no proof. Get out right now. Oh my god, he stepped on my toe. Did Skip discard anything in the forest that could prove he was the man at the meeting? Salted potato boy. Thank you so much for 27 months. Kombucha. Who was texting me? Travis is looking for a good way to get up to the cat now. I told him he could just climb the tree, but he's located a ladder rental service nearby. Thanks for the update. I wonder. Hmm. An allergy inhaler? I wonder if it was discarded by the man from the meeting. Roxy, can you analyze this inhaler? See if you can tell who belongs to, or what allergy it's for. Maybe asthma? Want a quick lesson in forensics? Select the question mark button at the bottom. You want to create the right molecule with the given atoms. Each mole each atom has dots in it, indicating how many more atoms bond to it. Atoms placed next to each other will will automatically bond. Okay. Journey. All right, the inhaler is for a very rare allergy to dandelions. Also, based on hair analysis, the last person to use it probably had a beard. 
Uh-huh. I need to get some dandelions to test this allergy theory. I know we're gonna force someone to go into fucking anaphylactic shock. <laughs> no dandelions here. No dandelions here. Yeah, beard hair would be coarser than um, head hair. Nice grow trees. Nice grove. Trees are great carbon sinks. They remove a lot of CO2 from the air. Okay. <laughs> that was not what I needed. Did I get nothing from that? Okay. Uh oh, what's coming on over here? Go up the tree directly. He'll fall and die, but that's okay. Okay, let's find some dandelions. It looks like someone has been rustling around in these bushes. Was someone hiding here? These are the flowers left for Shirley. Very pretty. <laughs> and I stole them now, I guess. Okay. <laughs> this There's a building in the Upper East Side of New York City, and it's like almost entirely covered in foliage and I'm like oh, must be a dream to fucking be able to pay the nine thousand dollars a month rent for that apartment but I would pass it all the time on the bus going home I need to find some dandelions the park is very peaceful the sound of flowing water is really relaxing All right, I'm gonna go back into the woods. Maybe, is there a flower shop? Um, not for advantage lions, I imagine. Uh -huh. As they are weeds. Do you know where I can get some dandelions? Of course, you can find some in my flower stands. Bruh. I checked those and they said no dandelions. Perfect, dandelions. Why would you sell weeds at a flower? Anyway. Hey, Skip. I got you a flower. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. you do have flower allergies. That proves nothing. Oh God. I 
keep hitting B. The inhaler found at the meeting site. Of the meeting? At the site of the meeting matches your rare allergy. You were there, Skip. I lost that inhaler weeks ago. Besides, I was at Geno's during the break-in. I'll have to confirm your alibi. I'll be back, Skip. Kebby, oh, to be subscribed to Jimmy Wetzel on Twitch. And for 13 months at that, oh my gosh. Could you imagine? Thank you so much for the 13 month resub, Kebby. All right. To Gino's. Oh, Panizo. Hey, Gino, what can you tell me about the mayor? tell you this one very important thing. He never eats his pizza crust. He's a criminal. The crust is the best part. I would argue the cheese is the best part, but the crust is very important. Now I want pizza. So bad. I'm not sure if that's an actual crime, Gino, but it certainly does reveal bad taste. Bad taste? He should be locked up for life. My crust is world famous. Sorry, Jimmy. I get worked up about my pizza. Maybe you didn't notice before. It's okay, Gino. All right. Nothing. Okay. There's the flour pizza. Uh-oh. Oh, looks like the mission was a success. Save the cat. And we're getting a reward. Okay. Okay. <gasps> It looks like some of Skip's leftover pizza. You really should use a plate. Well, it proves he did have pizza. Good afternoon, Skip. I'm a little busy right now. I'll have to talk with you later. Okay. Books by Machiavelli, Julius Caesar, Sun Tzu. Mayor Skip is certainly an ambitious politician. This is how I get around the town in real life. <laughs> Machiavelli's a painter. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Wrote the prince. Like, le petit prince. My, I'm allergic to sunflowers, but the seeds are sure delicious. Aha. A treasure chest. Street clothes and paint. I love that you just sit. I love it. Ooh. Patrick's tool chest the tool chest is up here just as he said. So that's how I could have gotten up here before. I wonder if, the, if that just means that there's different ways to solve some of the mysteries because I was able to solve that whole chapter without even com coming up here. Oh, 
All right. Maybe he went on a date with Shirley. Huh. Shirley, I think the mayor might be involved in the break-in at Evelyn's apartment. The mayor? You know, he's not the first guy to go nuts after falling for me. I tend to bring out the crazy in men. So, you don't know anything about this? Sorry, hon. Not even remotely. But hey, you want a cut? Special on mullets. All this week. Maybe later, Shirley. Thanks. She's ahead of the time. Mullets are in now. Nothing but trash. Some people can really pull off a mullet. It just depends on the shape and style of it, and also their head shape and face, and if they are hot or ugly. <laughs> Okay. Huh. Mm. What time did this- here we go. Morky Corp agent break in. I'm not sure when it happened exactly. I was too frazzled to check the time on my clock. Thanks, Evelyn. But the clock would be broken because they broke it. The burglars broke the clock. Luckily, this froze its hands, recording the exact time of the break-in. 7.02 p.m. Dinner time. Let's see what Skip was doing at Geno's. This is not entirely Ace Attorney, because there's no court aspect of it. Um, it's just a detective game, you know? But I do like that there's some platforming. I like that you're able to really explore the city. It's cool. Because if you couldn't, I would want to. Because I just love this place. Pizza. It's very cute and nicely designed. Pizza. You know exactly when Skip came in here yesterday? I would play a city building simulator that looked like this. In fact, I would prefer it. I'm sorry, Jimby. It was very busy in here yesterday. I don't remember when he came in. Do you remember any details about Skip's visit? Oh! Did you guys ever play Cityville? I think it was it was on Facebook. It was like Zynga, the like company. Um, they ha that was like one of their um, like Farmville esque games. I loved it. I loved the art style. I played all of those games. I spent like probably fifty real dollars on my Happy Aquarium. Embarrassing. <laughs> well, he ordered a large vanilla clam pizza. He couldn't finish it, so he took the leftovers back to his office. Leftovers? That's perfect, Gino. I should check Skip's office for evidence of leftovers. I've already seen the leftovers. I'm convinced that people who like insane toppings on pizza live in places where the pizza's bad. If you live in a place where just a plain cheese slice is delicious, you don't even need the other shit. I love myself a buffalo chicken slice from time to time. Um, but I feel like you gotta just fucking... If you, if, if you live somewhere where your pizza's like, eh, it's fine. You gotta add other foods that are good to make it better. Hmm. All right. All right, I think I can analyze this pizza. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. How old is this pizza? Mm -hmm. 
It looks like that slice was freshly baked yesterday at lunchtime. Skip ate at Gino's for lunch, but the break-in happened at dinner time. Skip's alibi doesn't hold up. Need to report my findings to Evelyn. Case fucking solved, baby. I've got proof. Let's go stick it to the man. How have I only been live for two hours? What the fuck? It feels like I've been on for five. Hello again, Skip. What? You again. I've already told you everything I know. Yes, you did. Of course, it was all lies. So I thought we might try again. What? You better have proof making accusations like that. According to your alibi, you had dinner at Gino's yesterday, but we know that's not true. You were at Gino's yesterday, but it was for lunch. Our forensic scientists tracked the development of mold colonies on your leftover pizza. What? You did science? On my pizza? Yes. It pegs? The pizza's cooking time to be 12.30 p.m. Lunch time. Plus or minus two minutes. And they know you received my father's journal because they found your inhaler at the drop-off site. I see. Look, I didn't ask how they were getting the book. I just supposed... I was just supposed to hold it for a while. Really? You're done holding it now. Why did Morcubus's goon steal the journal? What's he after? I can tell you, but I don't want this going public. Tell nobody about this incident. No way. Lulu Beans went back to BDSP. Just got the uncatchable shiny Starly. 33.98 soft resets. Woo! <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you so much for the four month resub. We don't make deals with villains. It's okay, buddy. Morcubus is the one behind this. We have bigger fish to fry than Skiff Rogers. Even if he is a corrupt, even if he is corrupt and pathetic. Look, here's what I know. Yes, Morcubus wanted that journal. He needed as much information as possible on the whereabouts of a man who used to work with Evelyn's father. What? Who is he? What does he know about my dad? I don't know. I just know his initials are PW, and now Morcubus has tracked him down to the mountains. The maps, pal. This PW could be in danger. We've got to get him before Morcubus. Evelyn, buddy, let's go. It's time to fire up the jet. You have a new recruit available. Roger. New dispatch missions. Okay. Let's go back to HQ. Splatoon Octo expansion. Ooh, a parka. Hey, you, bitch. What are you up to? Um, can I help you? Yuki is okay, but Yuki would like to know. You have a very bite. Would like you to know you have a very biteable face. Oh, thanks. Okay, I want to change my clothes. Hell yeah. Street clothes. Cute. Yeah, we're gonna need to dress warm.
If she had a braid, she would chew it. <laughs> Not gloms. I need a mission debriefing. What was the result? Good job. Looks like your first dispatch mission was successful. Sure only gets harder from here. New clothes again. Costumes. What kind of costumes? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking even know what that is. <laughs> it's very cyber taste. evil sunglasses to him oh the evil ones were in the agent clothes thank you anyway five minutes from now we'll check that <laughs> These are so fucking lame. I looks like such a dweeb. Let's check this. Let's check our recruits. I got a new recruit. I got Roger. Hey, Jimmy. I need to intensify my routine. Not even Morky Corp's Flab Dominator 3000 gets me a decent workout anymore. Can I be an agent? Yes, you can. Welcome to the team. Good to be here. Let's sweat. <laughs> you want a dispatch mission? Choose which one and let's get this over with. Okay, blue thing. Ooh. Assistant librarian. Drill too deep. Legendary cheese. Okay. Hello, Evelyn. Really want to thank you for all your help. Don't worry, Evelyn. I'm sure we'll get this all figured out. Down. Okay. Uh 
Okay. Hi. What's new, Roxy? Everything, Jimmy, but that's not important. We got mounts to explore. Did you wash your hands before coming inside? I told Agent Walker we need a carbonic deoxidizer nano wash system outside for all vis visitors to the headquarters. She's ahead of her time. All right, let's go to the hangar. Ooh, play. Oh my God. Oh, it's like all the mini games. All my trophies. <laughs> All my trophies. Let's fucking go. I haven't played my Sim Sky Heroes, which uh, other people said that they have. I haven't played that one. Is that kind of like this, but like a sequel or something? Hey, I should draw us flying in a super cool jet. Maybe I'll play that too. I remember this very vividly, this area. Oh, it's just flying planes. Damn, that stinks. Wow, it's cold up here. Well, hopefully this won't take very long, buddy. Yes, we should find PW quickly and find out what he knows. I hope we're not too late. Preston, where are you, sweetie? Preston. Girl boss alert. Um, BB, how is that going to help us find your missing boyfriend? I mean, everyone wants to be her. You said I should try calling Preston. Yeah, I meant on his phone. Have you tried that yet? Oh, no, I haven't. I always just leave my phone with Preston. Okay, maybe you should just leave this to us. We're professionals. I think he was kidnapped by a Yeti. Ordinarily, I'd say aliens, but given the snowy terrain, we can't ignore the Yeti factor. Except that, yes, we can, because it's completely illogical. Life's illogical. I'm filing this case under Y for Yeti. I should have known the Yeti was real. The lodge owner won't stop talking about it. I know. She claims she's actually seen the Yeti using her hot tub on cold mountain nights. For once, let's try to solve this case using facts instead of ghost stories, okay? We're doing this one by the book, Agent Vic. Alright, Agent Roswell. Hey, pal. This, guy's, this guy who's missing, they said his name was Preston. Right. Starts with a P. This might be worth investigating, buddy. Hello. I might be able to assist you with your case. I'm Special Agent Jimby. Oh, a special agent. I'm afraid we're just plain old regular agents. We're with the government. I've never met a real special agent before. Hey, maybe you could help. Yes. Well, Miss BB here called us to find Preston Winthrop. <gasps> PW. So we'll just have to leave it as government matter for now. Agent Vector, let's speak to the owner of the lodge again. The old lady, I like her. She's nutty. Please, please find my boyfriend. I just want to know he's okay. We'll do everything we can, BB. But I think it's only fair to tell you that no human has ever survived a Yeti attack. Eek. Vic. What? Look up. Look it up. It's true. Don't worry, BB. I'm sure P Preston is fine. We'll do everything we can to find him. Then you have to find the Yeti. Those agents won't even try as long as Rosalind is in charge. I just know that bearded guy is right. The Yeti has my poor Prezi Wezzy. If there's a Yeti on this mountain, we'll track him down. It's important for us to find Preston, too. 
But if he was mauled by the Yeti, you'd want the remains, right? I would. I'll run back to the jet and grab some big plastic bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's not cross that bridge just yet, buddy. BB, where did you last see Preston? Right through there, by the path going up the mountain. Every second counts. Now, let's get this let's get over there and see if we can pick up the Yeti's trail. This game is so good. It's so funny. I should look for clues connected to Preston's disappearance. Preston and Bibi must have been having some sort of snow picnic. Looks cold. This, for real, this is straight out one of the mansions from Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. It is creeping me the fuck out how much they, it, like, aesthetically, they it looks like they stole from my sims. Just saying. This snowblower must be used to clear the paths. Good thing yetis don't know how to use danger equ dangerous equipment like this. Oh no, what's the librarian saying? Never in my life have I seen such a bunch of lazy, good-for-nothing loafers. This crew you sent me is so out of shape. I wonder if they're ever put in a, they've ever put in a good, honest day's worth of back-breaking toil. Oh no. It appears that this door is bolted from the inside. Oh, the Club Penguin spy game on the DS. We will have to play that too. I, I loved that game. This rusty old generator has seen better days. I'm amazed it still works. Oh no. Your team has contacted me. Apparently, they're ready to begin. Let me just say, they don't exactly look world famous. You're not going to ruin me, aren't you? This nature music will do wonders to help me relax after a long day of solving crimes. And for workouts. Cool. So I'll make my agent's headquarters more enjoyable oh here we go these footprints appear to have come from a large creature and they're widely set as if there was a scuffle where do you think they lead so it looks like they come from there Preston's journal. The last entry reads, Stupid snow picnic. It's so cold and lame. Oh no, a Yeti arc. <laughs> Being in this library totally reminds me of that one time I was in detention. At first, I didn't know the other kids there, but then we all became friends and we played this great practical joke on the principal. My chest hurts so much today. I think it's because I've been coughing a lot again. It's like my sternum, I guess, like all here. The, foot, the footprints are lost at the path. They must resume somewhere nearby. It's that long COVID, baby. For me, it's just occasional coughing fits still, mostly late at night before bed. I definitely wouldn't say I still have COVID after like over a month now, but you know, it can take like 12 weeks for everything to kind of go away. If there's any better form of exercise than mountain climbing, it's chasing mountain goats. Oh, he's getting the cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they resume. Some very large and mysterious footprints head to the ski lift. They look like they could be from a Yeti. Oh, 
Okay. Glad to see the city offers public transportation here. It's always good to reduce traffic as much as possible. This delicious energy drink shall invigorate me through the case. <laughs> Typical incompetence. One of your team members f filed an ichthology book in the herpetology section of the library. Since when are fish considered reptiles, I've banished your team to my barn out back to feed my pigs. Nice, an outdoor fireplace. There's no fire burning now, but I bet this patio gets nice and toasty warm when there is. This is uh, actually BDSP 2. Honestly, way better looking game. Being real. And here we are inside. All this Yeti themed merch. Cute. <laughs> this resort totally cashes in on the Yeti mystique. A Yeti attack would be really bad for business. They don't have any hoodies in my size. Darn it. Use computer. Oh, I thought he was going to do something. I would go here. This sounds, this seems cute. Ooh, who the hell are you? Oh, you're the old lady. Hello, I'm investigating the recent disappearance. Oh, hello there. I'm Professor Nova. How can I help you? Do you know anything about yetis? Well, I know they're exquisite. They're beautiful creatures who would never even harm a fly. Do you know this yeti personally? I'm positive I've seen him once or twice. I leave him little notes. Well, I called them this morning after Bibi told me about the missing boy. I'd like to resolve this as quietly as possible. I can't imagine something like this helps business. Oh, very bad for business. The Yeti is normally so good for business, too. Just look at this gift shop. But now, these people are ruining everything with their baseless fear-mongering. Bye. Um, okay, what did you want to talk about? Here, let's talk where we could see her face. Okay. What can you tell me about your boyfriend? Preston Winthrop. He's the cutest. Do you have any idea why a man named Morcubus would be looking for him? No, who's Morcubus? He sounds creepy. Just find my Preston. I'll find him, BB, don't worry. What happened out there? Well, we were having a snow picnic out by the ranger station and Preston wanted cocoa. Sounds like fun. It was, so I went and got cocoa for Preston. When I came back with it, he was gone. Seems like what happened there is the key to everything. Your squad reports that they have successfully scaled the admonishing cliffs. Okay. Oh god, oh. Jimby, I'm in a bit of a quandary. It's already two hours before dawn, and we still have yet to feed piggles and porks. There's still 10,000 books that need stamping. What should I have the team do? Slop the pigs. 
That is more important. They need to eat. Think anyone would mind if I borrowed their board for a sec? Probably. A snow bunny. That's so cute. Okay. A moose head? Damn. Hello there, madam. You are quite a lovely snow woman indeed. Top of the morning to you, good sir. Okay. Hmm. I need more information about yetis. Anything you can tell me that might help? Hey, dude, a yeti is huge. How could he just vanish like a ninja? A ninja, huh? Oh, man. Do you think ninjas are involved, too? It's so possible. Just like in 86. I need more information about yetis. So the special agent needs help finding yetis. We're all here for the same reason, Agent Rosalind. Why don't we work together? She was the mayor in the original My Sims. Let's just get to, let's not get in each other's way, okay? Sorry to bother you, I'll have to do this on my own. Pierce's door is bolted from the inside. Gate leads further in the mountain, but it's locked. Okay, game froze. Your squad has reported they found a small herd of the black-footed goats. They wanted to know how they should proceed. Lure them with tasty treats. This is very Club Penguin Seer missions. I know. I loved those as a kid. It's probably why I enjoyed this so much. Hi, Michael. By the way. Darn it, the ticket booth is closed. Oh, well, 60 bucks is a total rip-off anyway. I'll go play in the parking lot of snow for free. Ski lift doesn't seem to be in operation. There goes my easy ride up the mountains. The lift down, I'll need to find another way up the mountain. I see another gate somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I did all right. Ooh, was the mission a success? Yay. Thoughts on the case? I think I should have worn something warmer. I'll try to wrap this up quickly. Do you really think there might be a Yeti? I believe it when I see it. Until then, I think we should focus on Preston. He's our PW, and he's the key. Time to get to work. I'll talk to you later. 
Excellent strategy. Your squad says they were able to lure several of the goats using bits of string cheese. Now we just have to hope they're females. Spare part. Love that for me. Mini Yuna, thank you for the 20 month resub. Uh, agenting is going well. I'm enjoying replaying this. It's so fun. I don't remember any of the solutions, so it's really been a delight. Probable dribble. Hmm. What do you think? I always wanted to be a Yeti when I grew up, or a game show host that can fly. Okay. <laughs> was a success. Okay. Um, yeah, My Sims Racing is not good. I think I had it on DS. Okay, so the ski lift is broken. Should I take my plane to the top? Oh, there's a parking lot. Okay. Hmm. Strange, all the cars still have skis on their racks because they prefer the yummy feeling of wearing rentals. Yeah, <laughs> Looks like there's a parking ticket on the front window. Parking tickets way out here. I guess cops just love red cars. You know, convertible really doesn't seem like very practical in this type of weather. Oh, back to headquarters. Okay. How the fuck has it not been even three hours yet? Like, what? That can't be right. Yeah, wow. That's so weird. It does feel longer. Again, not in a bad way, but I also feel a little tired. Just because there's a lot of reading. The bot thinks I'm offline. Oh my god. Yeah, my uptime on my 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 OBS says two hours and fifty minutes. Huh. Fun for the whole family. Well that bunny and Yeti both seem to have a good time, but too bad I'm on a case. Why can't I bust down this fucking thing? Okay. Do you have the key to this gate? Yes, I've been entrusted with it, and I can't go around giving it to anyone who asks. That includes you. We're just trying to help with the investigation. If you could show me some sort of official documentation, I would consider letting you borrow it. I'll be back with the proper documents. Where can I get a warrant around the lodge? From the computer.
Four from the lady. Can I have a warrant? No new dialogue. Can't get a connection to HQ. Says that the satellite signal's too weak. Supercharge the signal, but I'll need some spare parts. Well, I've been harvesting parts. So that's good. Alright, one more. Check a car, maybe. No. The plane? No. Alright. Hot tub? No. Generator maybe has some spare parts actually. Unless I got them already. I might have got them already. Nope. Alright, let's climb to the top of the lodge. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't see a way to rotate the pieces, though. Oh, the analog stick. There we go.
Okay. I was like, what's the fucking deal? Computer should be working now. Let's get a warrant. Okay. The dishes must be for the satellite television. Okay. Okay, we'll get the- I'm gonna get the warrant, open the gate, and then I'm gonna probably call it a day for today. Mm -hmm. I know my streams are usually longer than three hours, but this is kind of exhausting me a little bit. And we didn't end up going to the gym today, so I'd like to-, to together, so I'd like to go by myself tonight. Also, I've been working on a Mario Kart Top 10 video script i wrote some stuff today i'd like to maybe work on that i was working on the sonic one but i think i want to do the mario kart one first because it's faster to get out and i want to get it out before the dlc comes out so i can finish that pretty quickly i think it'll just be like a fun short little thing be a nice warm-up working on something a bit more intense It's hot in here. I keep turning the air conditioning on and it like, I don't know, just keeps turning itself off when it reaches a certain temperature and then it goes back to being like 75 in our apartment, which like with, which is, you know, fine-ish, but with all the lights I have on, it gets so hot in here. Okay, Rosalyn, here's your documentation. Can I have the key? This looks official enough. According to the agency guidelines on verbal agreements, I need to give you this key. Thanks, Rosalind. Hope to work with you again in the future. Likewise, in the distant future. Okay. All righty. Thank you for watching tonight, guys. I very much enjoyed playing this for you all, and I will be picking it up again. Uh, I would say 90% play sure playing this tomorrow, unless I like take the day off or something. Um, okay. Let's raid someone. Um Okay, I'm going to raid Queen Nikki Mirage playing Tell Me Why For those who remember when I played that game, if you'd love to see somebody else's first time experiencing that you should absolutely go follow check it out and hang out with them okay have a good night guys i'll see you tomorrow and um we'll play more of this it's very exciting thanks for watching bye yes i will be archiving these streams i'm gonna archive this and sonic adventure like right now okay <laughs>